Okay, here we are. Here's the, uh, the, the setup. I'm just going to show you what we have here. Not sure if you can see that, that's focusing. Uh, maybe it's not. But basically, just three components the potentiometer, a 10k potentiometer, the transistor there in the middle, and to the one side, we have uh, the resistor. So that's it, the three components. And we have the decade box there, which is going to give us our changes in resistors and resistance at the top of the uh, collector voltage. Then also there we have a voltmeter, which is going to show us the voltage across the emitter resistor. And then we have a current meter, although that's showing volts on there, uh, that's set up to measure current go back so we can see all of them so now I set this up so we can see all of them both all three the decade box you've seen the circuit connected the voltmeter there on the left the current meter which is currently although it's saying volts there and the decade box so I'm gonna cycle through we're gonna take this back to zero to begin with so let's go let's zero that in zero that in that's zeroed in. Then we're going to throw the power switch and see where we are with zero ohms resistance at the collector. 10 volts. So we just flick that onto 10 volts and let's have a look. We're seeing 1.01 volts on the voltmeter and although it might not be that clear on the video that current meter there that's showing 1.2 milliamps so that's the values we have for zero ohms resistance at the collector voltage so let's give go up in stages of 1000 so we're going to go 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 6, 7, 8 to 9 and if it's close to the calculations, we should see a difference between 8,009 at about 8,800. So let's see if that actually uh, matches our calculations. So we'll start off with 1,000, keeping an eye on the current meter and the voltmeter. So there's 1,000. You'll notice the needle flickered slightly there on the current meter, but there's no real change. It's still at 1.2 milliamps, and the voltage being displayed there is 1.01 volts so that's our initial setup so we've got a fixed current coming through there of 1.2 milliamps I'm going to now increase the resistance to 2000 ohms and let's see if the current still remains fixed at 1.2 milliamps you'll see it the needle flickers again but it's not changed it's still showing 1.2 milliamps which is what we expect from the current source and the voltage again not changed 1.01 .01 volts so let's go through this we go up to 3 now see what happens no change 4 no change 5 no change 6 no change 7 no change now that, when we go to 8, let's see, let's keep an eye on the current meter. No real change there still, but interestingly, the voltage at the top of the emitter resistor is now swinging between 1 and 0.99, so there had obviously been a slight drop in voltage there. So let's go to 9 and see what happens. Keep an eye on the current meter again. If you notice there, there was quite a movement, and it's it's lost its 0.2 now. It's just showing 1 milliamp exactly. Let's have a look at the voltage on the meter. And that's dropped. So that's dropped quite, quite significantly. So we're now on 0.93 volts. So that's obviously the change. The change occurred between 8,000 and 9,000 ohms. It's no longer uh, a constant current source. 
which is exactly what we expected to see given the calculations we did earlier. So anyway, thanks. I hope this uh, video has been useful. Um, the, the main point of it is to show uh, the characteristics of a BJT transistor in this simple circuit. So each transistor family has got its own data sheet and this active region here which we've shown between uh, the emitter voltage of say 1 volt up to the collector voltage of 0.2 so there's a 0.2 volt drop there that's a characteristic of the manufacturing of that of of that this particular transistor and it'll be different for different transistor different transistor models that's not something you can calculate so you have to look that up in the data sheet so what this uh, quick uh, current source video I hope has shown is that uh, we verified that uh, 0.2 volt drop there by uh, going through this uh, short tutorial. Anyway, uh, hope to see you on the next video. Thanks very much.